Okay, in this experiment we're going to have a look at the magnification of a convex lens. And a convex lens, if you remember, is a lens which is fatter in the middle than it is at the edges. That's one here, and uh, I'm just going to show you what I mean by magnification. This small piece of graph paper has a millimetre sized square uh, just highlighted with the biro here. And we're going to be looking at how to make that picture bigger by using a lens. So we're going to move our lens so it makes a lot bigger image of what's underneath of it. And we're going to measure how big the image is compared to how big the actual thing is that we're looking at. In this case, that is a millimetre square. And we can easily measure how big this image gets simply by measuring how wide the image looks with a ruler through the lens. So that's the first thing, the first idea for our practical. Okay, so this is the sort of basic setup for our experiment. Uh, we've got uh, a lens, uh, a couple of bits of blue tack, and, and what's called a lens holder. So I'm gonna put the lens into the lens holder to begin with. Uh, it kind of can, can wobble out sometimes. And so I'm just going to use the blue tack bits here to just pop them on there just to keep it steady because I don't want this uh, moving around too much uh, during the experiment and so there make sure it's nice and in the middle like that uh, and then we're going to use this uh, and I've got the graph paper here with its small millimeter square uh, set up like this and that is going to allow me to move this in and out so I can measure what this looks like and as you can see, okay, the image gets bigger or, or smaller. It's not coming out so well. So there, that's sort of what I'm, I'm looking for. Um, so when the image is very big like that, it's very easy to measure how wide the image is. I simply get a ruler and I hold it up against there and I can easily measure how wide that particular image is. So in this case, if I come in here, okay, uh, I can see that that's round about six millimeters wide. And that will allow me to work out how big the magnification is. So here's a quick tip when you're measuring the size of the image that you can see through the lens here. So this is what we, uh, we've just been talking about. There's the millimeter square. This is the lens. I can easily measure this distance between here and here. But now I'm just gonna give you a quick tip. Okay, when you're measuring the size of the image, it's sometimes a good idea to close one eye so that you can just focus with one eye and then get a really good handle on how wide that image is and hold very still and count how many millimeters it is that's about seven and uh, it just helps to close that eye okay so in the first experiment that we're going to do we're going to alter uh, how far away this lens is from this uh, millimeter square on the paper so we're altering how far away the lens is from the object and that's what we're going to investigate our variable that we will decide to change okay uh, our independent variable we might as well call it that is the distance from the object to the lens and for each time we move the lens from the object we can measure the magnification. And then we can look at the different magnification we get at different distances from the object. Okay, so the image um, that we had of this was, was a lot bigger. It was about six millimeters. So if, uh, if I just draw this, I'll show you how we're going to calculate the magnification. And it's, uh, it's remarkably easy. Okay, so if the original um, square, let's call this the object, 
and the image, um, which we shall just call the image, um, when we're working out the magnification, all we want to do is work out how many times bigger the image is um, than the object. And this is very straightforward, because if that was one millimetre wide, and this appeared six millimetres wide, uh, it's very easy. What we do is this. We work out the magnification like this. Uh, the magnification, which I'm going to abbreviate to mag, but it's the magnification, is basically uh, how big the um, thing looks, the image looks. So we're going to write the image size uh, compared to the object size. Now I'm going to divide these, uh, divide the image size by the object size, and that will give me uh, 6 millimeters uh, compared to the 1 millimeter size it was before. Now when I do this, uh, that gives me um, just 6. What we say is that the magnification is 6. So at this particular place where I had my lens from the graph paper, uh, the magnification is 6. And all I do to do that is take the image size, which we measure by holding a ruler to the size of the image as we see it through the lens, and compare that to the original size of the object, which, if we're using a millimetre square, is a millimetre wide. And that's it. And that's how we work out the magnification. OK, a second uh, experiment we can do with these lenses while we're looking at magnification is uh, not to change the distance uh, from the uh, lens, which will be held in here, to the object, uh, but we'll be to look at different types of lens at the same distance. So this time uh, I've got three different uh, convex lenses. They're all fatter in the middle. This one is somewhat fatter than this one, which is somewhat fatter than this one. Um, it's not the width that's important, by the way, in this particular um, lens practical. It's just the amount of thickness in the middle, if you like. That's got a big uh, bearing on how well they magnify. Now, these lenses are lenses which we've looked at before. Uh, this one has a focal length. Uh, which I'll just abbreviate to uh, F-O-C-L-E-N. That's got a focal length of about 10 centimetres. Uh, in the previous lesson, we've, we've looked at how to measure those. This one has a focal length, uh, which is a little bit different. It's uh, actually twice as much. Uh, that's uh, 20 centimetres. Uh, and this one here has a focal length, which is 100 uh, and 10 cent, um, millimetres, or if we're going to keep it all as centimetres, I'll say it's 11 um, centimetres. And we can simply do a very similar practical with these. Each one in turn, we can keep them the same distance away, pop them into there like that, and we can see uh, what the magnification is for different ones. And by doing this, we can see how different lenses magnify things by different amounts. That one's a little bit harder to see there, but it's a bit smaller, but we can see that it's a bigger image. And so the second practical uh, that we can do with these lenses is looking at the magnification of different focal lengths of convex lens.